So uh, today we can do uh, material testing uh, with this hammer first and uh, to my right side there's a small plate to place our screwed uh, yeah, 10 millimeter thick both of them are 90 degree uh, bolted and uh, tapered with three screws stainless steel both for 7075 aluminium alloy uh, T6 and to my left is 6061 T6 aluminium alloy and uh, this is also same uh, two plates 10 millimeter same dimension both and uh, they are tapered and drilled by myself so now I'm gonna test so now the first test is basically uh, I put them on the ground in this shape uh, like like a V shape and I hit them on the top uh, 10 times for both and s just see what are the results and uh, what happens but I also have to make sure that I hit both of them with the same force and same impact so I'm just gonna go and I'm not gonna try very hard right now because uh, I don't want it to fail so early so let's see So, basically I hit both of them 10 times, uh, but I can take a picture now. Uh, so as you can see there, there are screws, both of them are a little bit, uh, bit loose now. And uh, as you can see here, this is 7075, and its screws are loose all three of them although this one is still tight but as you can see there's not a lot of deformation there's not a lot of you know surface has not been damaged that much whereas you can see for 6061 well the screws are pretty tight nothing nothing loose there they're although they're deformed but not much but the surface is really Really, I think some part of it also has chipped off, as you can see here, and uh, it's not that loose. Uh, this one, I won't say this one is loose, but I just the screws are a bit, uh, a bit loose, but not much happened to the structure of the plates. So that's for the first part of the test. Uh, so welcome back and now we're going to try the second test. The second test involves us holding, uh, this is 7075 T6 alloy. We haven't uh, tightened the screws back. Yeah, in the first test it had some uh, loose screws. We just leave it like this until the end and we see what happens if this is a real combat situation. Now we have positioned this in such a way that mm, the vice uh, machine is holding one plate of it and then the perpendicular plate to it is just on top what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hit the upper plate not the lower just the upper plate and see what happens to it um, after five times so uh, this is 7075 and uh, for test B so we start I'm gonna make sure that forces is equal for both of the plates so it's not biased. So as you can see here, uh, this is the impact zone and uh, has deformed a little bit. I think it might have become a little bit more loose. Uh, this is the part where it was inside the Weiss machine so it has some scratches, nothing serious though. But here it has a little bit deformation. Okay, now uh, 
We just did the test, second test for aluminium 7075. Now we're going to do the same thing for 6061. Uh, as you can see there, not much deformation there. Although the plate was a little bit deformed, that's why I hated it. Uh, screws were still almost the same, but it didn't do a lot of damage. So now we're basically just going to do the same thing for 6061. Now uh, I'm going to do the, just do the same thing as we did last time. So using it here. Repeat this one. Let's chip this part. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Now let's take this out. Now again, as uh, you can see here, uh, not a lot of deformation, but the plate has bended. In its end part, uh, and uh, as you can see, the part where I hold this with Wise machine, there are some scratches. Uh, also, as you can see here, this part has a little bit bend because of the force that you hit it and that it moves inside the Wise, so that has also bent it a little bit. As you can see here, it also did the almost the same thing, the edge of this plate. Here it was holding it from here, so basically this was pushed towards it. Um, still the screws are pretty much tight. Yep, they cannot move easily. It might be deformed, I don't know, but it's not loose. As 7075, I don't know for what reason it was a bit loose. It might be because of the threads or anything, but yep, that's it. Okay now, so we're gonna come to our third test, um, which is test C, and basically in this test, it's a continuation just after the previous ones, and we're not tightening the screws, we're just letting them be in their previous uh, conditions. So now in this test, uh, this is 7075 uh, plate, and this is 6061. Now I put in them in L kind of shape and on the ground, both of them, and I'm gonna hit five times, uh, one after the other and uh, I'm going to hit them just at the joint uh, just where the two plates uh, you know, they join each other at that at that part five times uh, and I have to make sure that they're equal uh, forces that I'm using so first we're going to start with 7075 